Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, this is to deal with one of the problems that some people are seeing in upgrading from one version of Windows 10 to another. It actually has to do with the progress going on and somewhere like at 35% it stops says that well you gotta uninstall VirtualBox in order for the uh, install to continue. And basically, um, people uninstall VirtualBox and say, well, okay, I got it off my system, and it still, still says that. So, you know, there must be something bad, something wrong. And it has to do with the software you've got installed on your PC. What you got to know is that VirtualBox can be installed on its own. VirtualBox can be also part of a package for some software you have also downloaded. In the case where it's part of a package, it's not gonna show up as VirtualBox in Windows. It's gonna be part of the package. What that means, if you had VirtualBox, you uninstalled it and you still have the error message, then there's something else you've got installed that also includes VirtualBox. If you don't see VirtualBox, which is the case of most people, they don't see anything called VirtualBox on their computers, but it still says you got to install uninstall it then what i would say is go and check all of the software you installed on your computer it's very important because that's where a lot of it lies so some of those virtual box problems come with the fact that you have something in your in your um, softwares that's installed that uses uses virtual box and until you will uninstall it, it's not going to work. Um, if you have Android emulators like BlueStacks, stuff like that, they use VirtualBox. It's very important to know that a lot of the emulators of different software or of different things include VirtualBox also. So that's where it gets a little tricky. You'll have to find what other software pre-installed or that you installed, actually, because most of the time it's something you installed contains a virtual box. What you could do is Google it. So if you want to know if a software contains virtual box, you can Google um, you know the name of the software then virtual box and see if it says yeah yeah it's included in there. Then you'll know which one to uninstall. But in the case where you don't see any virtual box on your PC, it's because there's something that has included virtual box within its package. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.